morning everybody so as you guys can see this is going to be a, another like uni week in the life of a first year law student because I felt like vlogging another week so um, as of right now I have this week and next week and then I have mid semester break which is just crazy like the uni year is going by so quickly and I was going to vlog my last week but Phil and I are leaving halfway through next week to go to Taranaki for his birthday so I thought I'd vlog this week instead so today is Monday and you guys have seen a little bit of how my morning has gone so I did my quiet time I did my prayer journal and I didn't read my Christian nonfiction book um, this morning just because we're a little bit short on time so I think I'll do that Wednesday I've been reading through Proverbs and if you are not familiar with the Bible Proverbs is a book that is full of wisdom so I have been loving reading through Proverbs and I've got a lot out of it but this morning I have one class and then tonight I have one class which is a purely online class so they are both my elective classes actually I think they're the only elective classes that I have at all which is kind of strange but also kind of good because it just means that I just smash them out on Monday so this morning I have a sign language lecture which goes for three hours so it's from 10 to 1 I'm not going to film in that lecture because in sign language classes you are sitting in a horseshoe with the teacher at the front because everyone needs to see each other signing and my teacher is also deaf so I feel like it's a little bit invasive to like pull out a camera and film everybody but I'll like film going to the lecture and stuff and and it's just basically a beginner course on sign language so I have been learning a lot of sign which is great because it's a subject that's very close to my heart my younger sister is deaf and I also thought if I have deaf clients as a lawyer like I want to be able to communicate with them not through an interpreter because things can get lost in translation and especially in law with it being very particular I thought it was a good skill to have and it will also like set me apart from some of the other lawyers that are out there it's a three-hour lecture which is actually all right on a Monday morning because it's completely silent because the class is like voice off so you can't speak on our breaks we go into like the little like outside room and then everyone uses their voices and stuff but it's quite nice to just start off the Monday morning with basically just a silent class so that's great my husband is also going to drop me off this morning um, because he has been dropping me off on Monday mornings because he has the day off today so that's really nice I have like a massive break from like 1 until I think 6 p.m. and then from 6 it's technically a six to eight class but it always only goes till seven so from six to seven I have got a class for my early childhood course that I'm doing which is all about like places and learning how places impact you and how we can learn from places and things like that so it's really really interesting and I've been really really enjoying that class so far so I would give you guys a little bit of an outfit of the day because we are just about to head out the door we also need to get petrol this morning as well and my battery is flashing so I'm gonna have to lie one day on one battery so let me just switch that over so this here is today's fit so again just very very casual do excuse the unmade bed in the background we do not have time to make it because we're literally about to run out the door I'll put my little inspo picture um, from this outfit that I found on Pinterest obviously my hair is different to the girls and she's in a green jumper but I'm in grey because this is what I've got. So this grey jumper here is from RM Williams. It's actually my husband's jumper but I have been stealing it so much and I probably wear it more than he does but it's just really really warm and thick so it's like really good to like layer in the winter time. Underneath I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see but I have got this little green it's actually a long sleeve cropped tee. That one was just an op shop find. I've got these pants on which are like my gig pants they're like a black and white gingham absolutely love these live in these pants they also have a slight flare at the bottom which I hope you guys can see but they're just really really comfy they're also like really really high-waisted pants and then on my feet I just have my black converse because I thought it was a black converse kind of day that is my fit today but yeah we're about to run out the door so I will catch you guys when we're going to uni
Hello guys. So I haven't actually spoken to you guys since this morning. It is a lot later now. It is like almost five o'clock and I obviously finished class at one o'clock. It was really, really good. We were just going through like hobbies and learning how to like sign hobbies. And we would like kind of like pair up and like ask each other like what our hobbies were um, and things like that. And then we would like go around the circle and like make a story that like one person would start, the next person would carry it on. We also learned like days of the weeks and times. So we kind of would do like stories where it's like one weekday and then like what you did. Like the first person would do like the wake up and then the last person in the class would do the like go to sleep so we did um a monday and a sunday so like a weekday and a weekend which was quite good they're very like complex because there's a lot of like vocab to like learn and stuff but it's always really funny as well like just with some of the stories and stuff that come up it's quite good phil and i had some errands to run um so we did that he obviously picked me up from class and then we came home i made lunch just finished writing my to-do lists. We also made the bed and we've got little Anakin here again with us today. I think I'm just gonna chill for an hour because I've got my online class in an hour's time and quite frankly, I feel exhausted like it has been such a big day. you learned about dimensions of place think about uh, your own special place and what it meant to you and what you learned about it that's really important because we're going to be looking at what people can learn from place it introduces multicultural and inclusive place-based learning and reasons why it's considered a successful type of uh, pedagogy Good morning everybody. So it is Tuesday today and I am just about to head out to uni to catch the bus. I just wanted to pop in and say good morning. Today I have two classes. They're both law classes today. So I have a personal property class which is from 10 to 12 which is always so much information. So I'm just gonna take in what I can. And then I have a three hour break which is a really long time. And then I have my legal reasoning from three and until four. I have over the past couple of weeks been going to the mentoring sessions that they put on that's like within that three hour break so I think I'm going to do that today as well. Um, so there's one for personal property which I haven't been to before. That one is from one o'clock to two o'clock and then I've been going to the legal reasoning one which is from two to three. I won't film in those past sessions because I don't think it's right to pull out my camera. It's not in a lecture theater. It's in like one of those like workshop rooms. So it's a little bit harder. But yeah, they've been really, really helpful so far. So yeah, I've been really enjoying going to those. Um, and also just like making some more friends in those classes. Thought I would show you guys my outfit before I head out the door. I have definitely worn it before, but it's just a really good, easy chuck on uni outfit. So I have got my Kathmandu puffer jacket to start off with because it is quite cold. It's like blue sky and sun sunshine but it's also been like raining on and off so this um, puffer jacket just gives me an extra layer of warmth and it's really really cold in the lecture rooms. Underneath that I just have my blue country road crew neck sweater which I actually found in the op shop so really happy about that. I have this white long sleeve kind of like turtleneck kind of vibe underneath. That one is again another op shop find but it's originally from Dottie. Then I've just got my black flare. They're technically pants but they feel like leggings so they're just like such a great staple to wear to uni. These are just from Kmart and then I've also just chucked on my chunky feeler sneakers and then in my hair i've also got this claw clip here which i hope that you guys can see but it's just from glassons so yeah just a really nice easy cute but trendy uni outfit i'll put a little picture on the screen of the pinterest outfit that i am trying to recreate i'm gonna eat some food for breakfast and then head out to uni so i will catch you guys when we are on the way
mannequins waiting. Yeah, coming in. <laughs> hey, mister. Hi. As you can see, I am back home now. It is around five o'clock, so I left at like 10 to 10. No, I left at 10 to 9, got home at 5, so it's been a big day. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a rundown as to the day. So my personal property lecture this morning was good. It's just always very dense. Like there's always just so much information to try and take in. But I thought I would show you. Oh, the sun is like going across my face because it's like starting to set. But I thought I would show you guys the notes that I took. So these here are all the notes that I took for personal property. This is pretty standard for me. Sometimes I'll take even like three pages of notes. I always hand write all of my notes as well. I've mentioned this before. This just works really well for me. So this is great. And then I've been screenshotting the cases and putting them on my computer that he talks about because it's just so much easier than writing out all of the facts and all the reasonings and all the decisions. So for personal property, that's kind of like what I'm doing instead of like legal system this semester. It's definitely a lot harder than legal systems is. A big thank you to one of you guys actually. I think you guys also study law and you guys warned me so I'm really really thankful for the heads up and the warning because yeah it kind of like helped me to set a realistic expectation as to what to expect but yeah we're just learning about like property rights and how they're created and how they're transferred and things like that. Anakin's decided to join me. He's gonna sit and chill. And then I did go to the pass sessions which like previous mentoring sessions from um, like students who performed really well but the personal property guy didn't show up which is weird because last week he showed up and there were like so many of us just waiting for him in the class so I don't know where he was he may have been sick and just forgot to like communicate it so that kind of sucked but I did meet some other people and kind of talk to people so that was quite nice just having like a social hour because obviously as you guys would have seen I went to the library and I did some early childhood so I can show you guys what I did for that as well so that was quite nice going from like a two hour lecture into like a one hour study sesh and then just having like an hour to like chat and like make some friends and stuff. And I also found another girl who's in my early childhood class. So that was really cool because obviously my early childhood is like all online. So most of the time people don't have their cameras on so it's like hard to know who's who. And then I went into legal reasoning this afternoon where we were talking about delegated legislation and bylaws um, and how to interpret those because our topic this semester is statutory interpretation which I feel like is actually like quite good it's like a good level of difficult so I'll show you guys the notes I didn't take as many in this class these are just the notes that I took today so that was good we also didn't have a case to read this week which is really nice so we've been working through this book here so like some stuff I've like highlighted and like written on and whatnot, but um, it's got a mix of legislation and cases, but I think we are going to be looking at a new legislation. So we've looked at the Legislation Act and then I think we're going to be doing another one in the workshops on Thursday and Friday. So that is really cool. And then let me show you guys what I did for early childhood. I am halfway through a reading for early childhood, so I really want to try and get that finished tonight these are kind of all the notes that I took from the lecture it was mainly just like pictures and then you had to like reflect on your experience in those places and how we can learn in places and um, different environments and things like that so I only wrote those and then a couple things they mentioned and then this is the reading that I'm like halfway through so I started taking some notes on that as well um, but I also thought that I would give you guys a little rundown of how I like keep myself organized so I've mentioned this before in my uni videos but in case you are new to my channel um, when you do uni you have one learning platform online which has all of your classes the calendar spread online will show you like when all your classes and stuff are but in terms of like what you have to do they're all separate so what I do at the start of the week which you guys I think you guys saw me doing yesterday was just writing up my to-do list so I have a uni to-do list and I have a weekly to-do list um, I do actually need to cross off our social games night because we did a games night 
last night as like a bit of a break from doing the Bible studies because we've been doing them straight for like eight months. We stopped once and did like a Christian movie night so that was fun um, and then we just thought we'd do a games night just kind of like sprinkled in there. Um, so we played code names so that was really fun to do this because it just gets everything out of my head and then throughout the week I'll just go through and tick things off and try and get through everything on this list. This is my uni to do list so as you can see I've got a lot to do for personal property I'm actually quite behind in personal property just because I've had other readings and other assignments and stuff to do my NZSL I have my early childhood which I'm almost finished I've just got a three minute YouTube video that I need to watch and then finish this reading so this is kind of like my plan for tonight is to finish this I've got one reading um, from legal reasoning which isn't in this book and then I've got like heaps of personal property a couple of them are more urgent than others because um, a couple of them are for my assignment. Also we'll be working on an assignment in this vlog as well. But yeah my plan for tonight is to just smash out my early childhood and then start reading this reading here, the chapter 8 um, digital assets for personal property. But I thought I would give you guys a bit of a rundown as to where we're at since my last vlog for uni which was my first week of semester vlog. But I have done three assignments since that vlog. My first assignment for this semester was a rich picture for my early childhood and this is what I did. So we kind of just had to do like our uni experience and what we kind of hope to get out of it and stuff. So I did the like metaphorical approach. It really like dark and dreary from like my work <laughs> life. I mean I'm grateful for my work obviously but like it was definitely like less challenging than what I'm doing now. And then I have like all the bold and bright colours underneath um, the waves and then like myself kind of just like exploring and whatnot. So we had to do like a rich picture and then we also had to do like a little written part that kind of explained our rich picture and things like that. So I got a B plus on that so that was really good. And then I have also done an opinion piece for legal reasoning and writing. It was the only assignment that we've got. But I have not heard back from that. I got really sick before I did that assignment. And I was still kind of sick when I was writing it. So I'm not confident on how I have done. Actually just the Sunday gone. We had another assignment due for my early childhood. Where we had to talk about a place that means a lot to us. And kind of like analyse our sense of place in that area um, using different perspectives from a reading that we did. So one of my favourite places which you guys know is um, Tamata Peak in Hawke's Bay and in particular like the Redwoods Forest in Tamata Peak. Um, I'll leave my vlog down below where I filmed at Tamata Peak and in the Redwoods. It's like a few years old because it was like during Vlogmas when I lived in Hawke's Bay but if you want to like see what that looks like definitely check that vlog out down below. I'm really really happy with how that turned out so that was due on Sunday so I submitted it Sunday morning because Saturday I was still like fixing everything up and I'm a real perfectionist so I always take ages with like assignments and things like that and then I have been sending all of my assignments off to Studiosity. It's like a platform where you can like send in your assignments, essays, all that and people overseas will mark it um, for like grammar, um, topics, spelling, references, like all that stuff and they'll like give you pointers and stuff. So I didn't have many to fix up on that one so that was really good and I've done it with all of my assignments so far for uni and it's been really really good. So I'm happy that that's in. Again, feel quite confident on that one so I'm hoping that I get a good grade. Also I wanted to show you guys so for my assignment I got out this book here from actually just my local library because one of the things that you could talk about um, with your sense of place is like any legends and things that go along with it and Tomato Peak has a legend. Obviously like don't believe this but I thought it would be good to like include in my assignment and this was really good so this is actually a kid's book and kind of just like explains the legend but the lady who did the illustrations for this used to go to my church back home when I was younger I don't know if she still goes because I obviously don't go to that church anymore but yeah it is quite cool that I know the person who's done the illustrations for this and I think she's done a great job and then I also just thought I'd show you guys the other library books that I have got from the library because while I was there I was like I may as well have have a wee look. This is my current read at the moment in case you guys are wondering. This is Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I actually read Before I Fall 
last month, I think, by Lauren Oliver and didn't love it. For our book club this month, it was Shelby's turn to pick, um, who's my sister, who I have the book club with. My sister would pick a book for me that she really loved that I haven't read and I picked a book for her that I really loved and she hasn't read. So she picked Delirium for me because this is one of her favourite books. This is a YA dystopian trilogy where basically love is a disease. So very interesting so far. I was reading this kind of like just before the lectures and stuff started and I've been reading it before I go to bed and I'm on page 202. So like just a little bit over halfway. So I'm hoping I can finish that this week. Um, and then if you're wondering what I picked for Shelby, I picked Akta <laughs> because she has currently borrowed the first book from me and so I was like yep I want you to read it. Trish of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. This one is a fantasy book to do with pirates and sirens I think. This one is a bestie two-week book loan so this will be the next book hopefully that I read. But there was also this one here which I've heard nothing about but the cover was really cute and then I read the back and I really liked it. Weekends with You by Alexandra Page. This one just seems like an adult romance. This chickie who's trying to keep her flower shop afloat and falling in love with a roommate photographer that comes into the mix who's traveling. Legend by Marie Lu. So both this one and the Brando Sando book I've heard Rachel Catherine talk about and actually the last book on here as well. But this one again is a YA dystopian trilogy. He is Day, the boy who walks in the light. She is June, the girl who seeks her brother's killer. There's also this one here that I got out which is blurbed by Christina Lauren. This one is Well Met by Jen DeLuca. I actually almost bought this book last year but didn't so I'm just intrigued to read it. Seems like it's set in a small town. She's helping her sister in this volunteering thing. Someone that she likes I think but he's like not interested or something so yeah very very interesting so hopefully I can get through some of those. I think for right now honestly I'm just going to relax so normally when I get home I have like an hour downtime on Tuesdays just because it's such a busy and long day and I do so much uni during the day that by the time I get home I'm just like completely and utterly exhausted so I think I'm gonna sit and watch some YouTube for an hour and then do a little bit more housework and then carry on with my early childhood Good afternoon everybody. So I haven't spoken to you guys at all today. You guys just would have seen a little clip of how my morning has been but it is now the afternoon. It is about 10 past 1 and I am just starting my uni work for the day. This morning I had an alarm on for like quarter past 8 but I was just so so exhausted after yesterday that I slept until like I think 9. I did some quiet time which you guys would have seen and then I did a little bit of reading of my Christian non-fiction book which you guys would have seen and then I honestly was just feeling so anxious that I just like lay in bed and read for like almost an hour which was really nice like I feel like that put me in like a really good headspace and then I got up got ready and then I just did some housework this morning because I'm very much of the mindset where it's like if you have a clean and organized home then you have a clean and organized mind so I made the bed I had some towels on the line so I got those and folded those and then I also had some towels inside that were drying so those were all dry so I folded them put them away put another load of washing on at the moment which is good and then I also vacuumed the house so now the house is looking all nice and clean so that is good. I also emptied the recycling bin and the normal bin so that was good so now I'm just feeling a lot better. Yesterday after I finished talking to you guys I think the last clip you guys would have seen was me like typing on my computer which was me working on an activity for my early childhood. I finished that activity. I also finished watching the video that I had to watch and I also finished the reading for early childhood that I was doing yesterday. So this morning I have just done the last activity because you have like a little discussions page 
where my teacher will just like put um, activities normally one like before the session and one after the session we got takeout for dinner we got pizza hut so we just sat and watched surviving summer which is the tv show we've been watching we normally don't like watch tv while we eat we normally sit at the dining table and like chat we're both like we really really want to watch so we've been enjoying that show we both just had a shower and then went to bed so i am sitting at the coffee table because I've been enjoying sitting here when I'm doing readings because the internet is a lot better in the living room than it is in the spare room where my desk is but I have got a case to read for my personal property assignment. I might have to get an extension on this assignment because I feel like I've not been in a headspace where I can actually like focus on things. I've just felt very anxious over the past like probably like two weeks also but I've read one of my cases and then this is the other one that I have to read it looks really long but it won't take that long because there's only 56 paragraphs and normally cases have like like 150 to 180 or so so yeah I've read one this is the second case that I've got to read for it and then I've also got another reading so I want to try and just smash out as many as I can um obviously I've set myself up to take some notes I've got my drink bottle as well because otherwise I will not make it through Good morning everybody. So today is Thursday. I thought I would switch up the starting location of my vlog today. So honestly this morning I have not been up to much. It's like almost 11 o'clock. This week I've just not been feeling great to be honest. Like I haven't been sleeping great because Phil and I have a lot going on in our like life outside of like uni and work like we're fine it's not to do with us but like we've just got yeah a lot going on and everything has been feeling a little bit overwhelming yeah I also just like am in one of those moods where I'm also just like questioning everything and like feel like everything I'm doing is wrong and like just want to like change everything so that's not fun <laughs> but I want to show you guys this side because like I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea that like life is always happy and you have to be sure of yourself 100% and all that because there are times as well where I question everything and I'm just like what am I even doing and yeah just like feeling like very overwhelmed this morning I got up really early well I like I woke up really early because Phil had an alarm on for half six and since then I couldn't really get back to sleep so I've kind of just like spent most of the morning in bed just like doing my quiet time watching some youtube and then i've gotten ready for the day and i've just done like a little like bits and pieces around the house this morning so nothing like too crazy yesterday i didn't quite finish that reading that i was doing that you guys would have seen as like the last reading that i was doing i think i got up to page 13 or 14 i think i want to do a little bit more of that before i have to go to uni so i need to leave here at like 12 to go to uni for my class at one so I just have one class today which is my legal reasoning and writing workshop which is from one to two so go to uni come home and then by the time I get home it'll probably be around three like chill for a little bit and then I will need to make dinner probably around like 4 30 ish because then I have to leave around 5 30 to go and pick up my husband from work and then we will go to bible study tonight and we won't get home until probably like 10. Thursdays are always like a little bit choppy um in terms of the day but that's okay I'll just try and like do some uni and stuff before I go. This here is today's fit honestly just like like very very chill. This pink jumper on here which is really nice this is my new one from Princess Polly and it's just been such a great winter staple um it's really like oversized and boxy so I've just kind of like tucked it in I've just got these really nice baggy um carpenter jeans on which I absolutely love these I just really like how like baggy and loose they fit these um are also from Kmart and then I haven't put my shoes on yet but 
I think I'm just gonna wear my feelers again. Pop a little inspo picture on the screen of the outfit that I'm trying to recreate. Obviously in her one she is wearing Uggs but I don't have Uggs. Um, I want to get some Uggs I think next year for winter because my like Ugg dupes from Kmart at the moment are like falling apart. So they'll last me this winter but they won't last me in other ones. But yeah that is the fit. I am just going to try and do a little bit more of that reading. I'm not going to vlog it because like you guys have already seen a little bit of it so I'll probably just pick this vlog up when I am going to uni for my class. Hello guys, so it is a lot later now. It is like almost 20 to 5. I have just been doing some more of the digital assets reading for personal property that I've been working on. Basically, I am up to page 28, I think, and I think I started the day on page 14, but I have just stopped because I am actually going to go and pick up my husband. I didn't realize he was finishing earlier. I'm going to pick him up, then we're going to come home, have dinner, and then go out to Bible studies. Class today was really good. Um, it was only a one hour class and we were doing some work on secondary legislation which we, which is what we did in the lecture on Tuesday so we went over the minimum wage act and the minimum wage order because the order is like the secondary piece of legislation so we were going over some questions for that and like how to read them together and then also we were given some problems that we had to like use the act and the order and like apply it to the problems so I am not going to do any more uni tonight because it's going to be a really tight turnaround because Bible study is at 7. I am just feeling really burnt out and also just like a little bit sick. That's not great. Obviously I have two days next week where I'm at uni and then Phil and I go to Taranaki for the week. So I'm actually really looking forward to having some time just to like stop and rest because I feel like I haven't had that. Like all through my semester break I was doing YouTube. Like I was pretty much doing YouTube like full time. So like I worked for like five days in the first week I think or the second week of my semester break and then the other weeks I was doing YouTube like four to five days a week. I will pick up this vlog again tomorrow because I again I have a class tomorrow and then we can finish off some readings and then work on my assignment for personal property. I have submitted to get an extension on it just because I'm just feeling very overwhelmed and not very great at the moment, especially my mental health. Good morning everybody. So today is Friday. So today I have one uni class, which is a workshop from 1 to 2. But then I also have my um, Bible study group that I'm a part of at uni from 2 to 3. So I won't bring you guys along like into the Bible study but I'll kind of like show you guys where it is and then afterwards we'll talk about kind of like what we went through and stuff but I'm part of the TSCF group which is Christian Fellowship group at uni so that's really cool so I have that every Friday and I have um started co-leading with one of the guys I think I've I've done it once and then I'm on again like the first week back after mid sem break so that's been really fun so this morning honestly I've had a really chill morning it's like 11 o'clock at the moment I slept until like 9 30 because I was just so exhausted and my body was like really sore and tired so I think I just needed it. Phil has also been home this morning. He starts work a little bit later so we've been spending some time together. He's just gone off to the library at the moment to um, pick up a book that he had reserved and dropped off the Tomato Peak one that I showed you guys earlier. I have about an hour until I need to go so I'm just going to try and smash out a bit more of that reading and then my plan for today is just trying to get through as many readings for my personal property as I can and then I think tomorrow we will start working on the assignment. My extension also got approved so I've got until Thursday now to work on it. I just feel like it was just too content heavy and I, like, I couldn't understand it within the time that I had so I've got until Thursday now to submit it which is great but ideally I want to either submit it Tuesday night or Wednesday morning because obviously we leave to go to Taranaki for a week on Wednesday so I hope they can get it done before then. We do have a friend's birthday to go to in the evening so I'm going to just try and get whatever I can done on Saturday and then obviously Sunday is my rest day so I won't do any work. But I'd show you guys my outfit. It's nothing crazy but um, again it's just like a really comfy easy go-to outfit for uni. This khaki green knit jumper here. I really really like this jumper. It's really soft and lightweight but you can layer it underneath and it's really warm. This one I actually just found in the op shop but I think it's originally from Cotton On. Then I have got my plaid pants which are a little bit flared 
at the bottom. You guys have seen me wear these in multiple uni videos, but they're just really comfy pants and they've literally been an absolute staple for me. These again are like thrifted as well, but I think they're originally from Glassons. And then on my feet, I've switched it up from my feelers because I feel like you guys are getting bored of seeing my feelers because I've been in my feelers all week, but I've just put on my black Converse. It's just really like cozy and whatnot in my hair in this little half up half down that I've been doing all week so that is the fit it is also a beautiful day outside blue sky sunshine I just opened up the windows to a little bit of airflow um, through the house I love when days like this it just puts me in such a good mood Hello guys, so it is a lot later now since I last vlogged, so I think the last thing I filmed was at uni, so I've obviously come home. Um, for my class today we did like a formative test, so it's a test that's like not graded. We just had a problem to do with statutory interpretation. It was tricky and I think the whole class got a bit confused on what we were interpreting a little bit. I kind of worked it out right at the end as we like had to stop and hear Mark and I was reading over the questions I'm like oh I forgot to add this in so I like quickly wrote it down in like a red pen just so that like I could you know make sure that I had it in there and then the teacher was like yeah like this is what you need to be interpreting so I was like oh okay but I had still done like some of my application and stuff right and I'd done the law right so that was good since then I obviously had bible study which you guys would have seen so I wanted to share with you guys what we went through so we went through 1 John 3 verse 11 to 24 so we kind of just do it we like just write what stands out and if you've got any questions and then we talk about it. I always keep them and I file them away. Bible study went for like an hour and a half and then I came home and I actually, when I got home, I sat and finished my book. So I've been reading Delirium by Lauren Oliver and last night I had like 50 pages left to read. So I just wanted to sit and smash it out because I was reading a little bit on the bus home and I think I had like 20 pages left or so. Really really liked this. It was definitely like very fast paced. Characters were all really good and a really really good interesting storyline and the last like 20 pages were like really intense so I really really enjoyed this. I'm really really excited to continue the series. We can do my reading journal together tomorrow I think just because it's getting quite late now um, but I will We'll probably start another book tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna start at the moment. Since then I watched a little bit of YouTube and then I have been sat at the laptop doing some readings for personal property and things. So I finished this massive 45 page reading for personal property in preparation for my assignment and I took so many pages of notes. I feel like I'm still a little bit confused but reading through this has definitely helped me and then I have actually just been going through and screenshotting all of the cases and the facts and the decisions and things like that. So in a folder on my computer I have all of these cases which are all ones that we've gone through for personal property. It will be straight up, I have not been reading the cases for personal property because he always summarizes them in the lectures anyways. And so far that's going okay. I might end up reading them closer to the exam. A lot of the previous year students were like, we never read the cases because he always summarizes them, which is true because he always has them on his slides, like what happens and stuff. So I'm like, if I can skip any readings, it's probably those. I do wish for personal property though that we had a case book um the same that we did for legal reasoning because i feel like if they could condense it then 
I would feel more inclined to read it but I'm gonna stop because it's like 20 past 7 at the moment and I'm gonna cook dinner. I'm going to make my um, smoked chicken and tomato penne pasta which I showed you guys how to make but I've got like an hour until I need to go and get filled. Good morning everybody. So today is Saturday and I've just had a pretty chill morning to be honest. Like I slept until 9. I don't know what it is. I just have not been able to sleep properly. I think I mentioned earlier in this vlog. Did some quiet time and then had some breakfast and as you can see I have just gotten out of the shower. I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a rundown as to what I have been using in the shower lately and then we can do our skincare. For my shampoo and conditioner I've been using a mix of three different ones. So for for my shampoo, I have gone back to my Redken All Soft Moisturizing Shampoo. Redken is not cheap, but it is really, really good for your hair. I have been using like salon quality stuff since I was about 18, 19, and I'm now 26. So my hair just absolutely loves this stuff. And then recently I have also been using a purple shampoo. So since going blonde, it's really important to use a purple shampoo because it just tones your hair and just keeps it looking like nice and keeps the blonde from looking like golden and brassy. System Professional Silver Blonde Shampoo for Cool Blonde Hair by Wella. I feel like this has been making my hair look really really nice. So I use the purple shampoo at the end of my shampooing so I'll like shampoo my hair twice with the Redken stuff and then I will just like quickly like lather it through and I'll let it sit for probably like a few minutes on my hair and then I'll rinse it out. I've been using my Function of Beauty conditioner. Long story short I don't use Function of Beauty anymore because I think the customer service has changed and until it goes back to the way that it was before I'm not going to purchase from them um, but I have like the tiniest little bit left. I just really love this stuff because it smells so good like I chose the scent of the like peach one and got it really strong and you can smell it in your hair afterwards. So that's all for my hair and then for my body I have been using this as my body scrub so this this is the Soap and Glory Call of Fruity Body Scrub. You get so much in here and I cannot explain how good this smells. Like it literally just smells like lollies. But the Soap and Glory scrubs are such a student friendly body care range um, because all of their like body scrubs and stuff are under $30. And then for my body wash I have been using this. So this is the Body Shop's Wild Argan Oil Shower Gel. And argan oil is really really good for your skin. Like it's really moisturizing. I feel like my skin has been a lot less dry since I've started using this shower gel. And then last but not least I always do my cleanser in the shower and if you guys have been on my channel for a while this will be no surprise as to what I've been using. But I have been using this which is the Let the Good Times Roll Fresh Facial Cleanser by Lush. Now I love this. It literally smells like cookie dough and popcorn and it's an exfoliating cleanser so it gets rid of like all the dead skin and stuff on your face. So yeah, then I've just done my teeth and I'm going to put on a little bit of lip balm. So I've been using this, which is the EOS lip balms. I don't think you can get these here in New Zealand unless you like order them online. I don't know if Amazon stock them, but my sister got me this when she came back from Hawaii and these lip balms are literally incredible. Like my lips normally get really, really dry in the winter time, but using this just keeps them like so hydrated. And I love it. It's also like really, really cute. Like the packaging is super, super cute. Toner. So for my toner, I have been using this here. So this is the Inners Free Hydrate and Exfoliate Lotion Tonic. This is so, so good. Inners Free is a Korean skincare brand. And again, it's really, really good and student friendly. If you're wanting to get into skincare, I would either recommend this or another brand that I'm about to show you guys in a second because all of their products are like $40 and under. So if you're wanting to like get into skincare as a student, then they're a great place to start. And Inners Free has like all natural ingredients as well. I'm pretty sure they're like cruelty free as well. So my skin just absolutely loves their toners. Okay, so I've just let that kind of like 
sit on my skin while I towel dried my hair. It's looking crazy. So we're going to ignore that. But then I normally do this once a week at the start of the week, but I wanted to do it with you guys. So I have recently got a serum. Now I don't know if you're supposed to do toner, then serum, or serum, then toner, but this is the way that I've been doing it and my skin seems to be okay. I got a serum from The Ordinary, which is another really, really affordable, student-friendly brand from Sephora. This is The Ordinary's Niacinamide. The niacinamide is like a really, really good ingredient for your skin because it's really hydrating. So it has this like little like dropper. I just literally like do like a little couple things like that and then just like rub it in my skin and it just like restores the like moisture in your skin. With this product, a little bit goes a long way. So you literally only need like probably as much as I put on because if you have any more, your skin will feel like really, really sticky. I always just wash my hands after doing that because of the niacinamide. And then last but not least, I will go in with my moisturizer. So I've been using the Origins Ginseng Ultra Hydrating Energy Boosting Cream. I love the packaging on this too with like the bright orange and the white lid. I'm like slowly but surely like running out. Like I've got like the tiniest bit. But I've got some other moisturizers and stuff in my drawer that I like want to try. But I love this because it literally smells like oranges. Again, a little bit goes a long way with this product. This is not the most affordable moisturizer but it's one that my skin just absolutely loves so i feel like i always like need one in my skincare regime and i always do like a little bit down my neck as well and that is literally it so like this is how my skin is looking now so like I feel like since doing this routine on my skin and using these products, I feel like it hasn't like properly broken out in like a really, really long time. Like I'll get like the odd spot like here and there like around that time of the month. But like other than that, like my skin just has not broken out at all, which makes me so, so thankful. Now I feel like I'm all ready for the day and I can actually tackle the day ahead. So I've just blow dried my hair. So before I blow dried my hair, I used a little bit of this just into like the roots of my hair. So this is the Weller Root Shoot Precision Root Mousse. Give your hair volume, which I feel like you can kind of see. This is not the most like student friendly pricing, but for me, for my hair, I really like to invest in this product. I've been using it for years now and really, really love it. Then I have been using this, which is the L'Oreal Texture Expert Smooth Velours Thermo Blow Dry Milk. I don't know if I'm loving this though. Like I feel like it doesn't really do much for my hair. I'm trying to use it up because I've got like the tiniest little bit left, but I do really like the packaging on this. I think it looks really like sleek. And then the last product that I use on my hair just to kind of like smooth everything down and give it a little bit of shine is this. Now this I'm just going to say right off the bat is not cheap. In saying that you need like the tiniest little bit. You just need like one pump and it will like do your entire hair and this literally lasts me for a year. This is the System Professional Lux Oil Reconstructive Elixir by Weller um, and you just have it for keratin protection on your hair. So it's like an oil. You can use this before or after you blow dry your hair, but I use this after. And I really, really like this product. It smells incredible. Like it smells really sweet, kind of a bit like vanilla-y. That's all that I've used on my hair. Thought I'd show you guys my outfit. So this is my outfit today. Honestly, just nice and cozy because the weather outside is like really gray and rainy and miserable. So I thought I would put on my little matching tracky set. So it's got the little like zip up hoodie, it's got like the hood at the back and then just the pink trackies that kind of have like a little bit of like a wider leg, kind of like a bit of a flare. Both the top and the pants are just from Kmart. And then I've also got these slippers on, which are again also from Kmart. And that is literally my fit today. I think I'm gonna go do my reading journal and then do some more uni.
Okay, so I have just come into my spare room and I've taken a little bit of a break from reading my personal property readings because I need to film and submit some sign language videos. So I don't think I ever said, but we have two like formative practice NZSL videos to submit and then two like marked assessments that we have. I've already submitted one, which was just like introducing yourself. And then I'm going to do another one where I've got to do two parts where I like introduce myself but more in depth and say like some of my hobbies and things like that I also have to do another one about like language structures and stuff so I have just set up the tripod let's do that together gonna come on here and end this video so as you guys would have seen I was working on my assignment a little bit so I did the background instructions for my opinion and also did the executive summary and I'm still like researching a little bit more for my like legal analysis so that's been like all the readings and stuff that I've been doing I also finished that last reading that I was working on um it's just gone like 5 30 now but I'm gonna stop because my brain is like so overloaded and I'm exhausted because it's been such a busy week so my plans for the rest of the night is I'm gonna edit for like half an hour until I need to have dinner we're just gonna have leftovers from last night kind of like around 6 30 I need to leave for our birthday dinner that we've got for our friend I always need to change out of my like tracksuit set so I'll also do that and then when I get home I'm probably just gonna read last night I did start Tress of the Emerald Sea by by Brando Sando I did not get very far in I'm like 24 pages in chapter 5 so not too far in but I'm really really enjoying this so far and I realize I've only got a few days to read this because I think this is due on the coming Friday because it's like a two-week book loan and Phil and I are away from Wednesday so ideally I need to read it before Wednesday so I don't know if that's gonna happen but I'm gonna try. That is all that I have. I really hope you guys have enjoyed coming along for this week of uni. It's been like a very standard like typical week. Like the day is literally coming to an end like I don't know if you guys can see but it's like a golden hour. I've had so much fun filming this video even though this week has been like a little bit up and down but I've definitely like caught up a lot in readings this week so that makes me feel good. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please make sure to turn on the notifications and check out my social media. It's always linked down below in the description box. If you guys want to watch any more like uni related content, I've done a few vlogs from like semester one and semester two. I've also done a what I carry in my uni bag as a first year law student and I also have done a uni Q&A. So I will leave it the place playlist down below. I think I will probably do another like vlog for my last week of semester two and then I also think I want to do one for like my exam period like when I've got exams and then that will pretty much be it I think for my first year of uni. It's just gone by so fast. It's been stressful at times but I have enjoyed the change this year. But that is all that I have and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!